shit about can't gain no inch. My nigga, it's slime season, that's my season I'ma grind hard to the shining season And down here, niggas robbing and killing But half the time, they don't even find a nigga Boy, you's a pussy, and I smell vagina, nigga You don't fuck around and they gon' find a nigga Cold and sip in Carolina, nigga I done told you once, I can't remind you, nigga This shit fucked up, got all kind of issues They even killing babies, it's all kind of sick Niggas hard-headed and ain't trying to listen Well, a headshot, I'll make them pay attention You got gangsters, then you got dumb niggas Better use your brain and Choose one nigga. Let me tell y'all about my young nigga. Cause I remember when he bought that gun, nigga. He got hot headed, had too much heart, and got a bullet lodged in his lungs, nigga. Man, rest in peace and God bless his soul. But the shit he was doing was just dumb, nigga. It's still RIP to Trey Vaughn, nigga. Till they kill me, you live on, nigga. Shot Martin Luther, Merck, Malcolm X, and beat Sandra Bland. I'm just saying, nigga. Was this really part of God's plan, nigga? Talking pledge allegiance and God we trust. Man, y'all people don't fuck with us. They Kick us off and throw us under the bus I wish Rosa Parks could really see this shit They yeah, had a seat, they got us under the bus Put dope in our hood and harass a nigga They give us 35 years for trying to come up Counting dollars my only interest Got no time to be blowing kisses Instead of money, yo, get the paper shorty I can't live with you, I see you later Trying to get to that money, you run Twenties and fifties and hundreds Trying to get to Sick and tired of this bullshit. I'm sick and tired of this bullshit. Sick and tired. I'm so sick and tired. I'm so sick and tired of this bullshit, and it's real. I'm telling y'all what's going on. I hear you. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of this bullshit. Uh -huh. Sick and tired of this bullshit. I'm so sick and tired. I'm so sick and tired. I'm so sick and tired of this bullshit, and it's real. Mm. And I'm just telling y'all what's going on. Yeah. My mama met a thug nigga, Jack boy slash drug dealer She moved out and sold drugs with him and he won't even in love with her, it's real Damn, I'm telling y'all what's going on Yeah, my mama met a thug nigga, a Jack boy slash drug dealer She moved out and sold drugs with her, pop won't even in love with her, it's real Damn, I'm telling y'all what's going on Yeah my sister pretty as shit, uh -huh. but on the inside she sick yeah. See y'all want the fame for y'all selfishness, but nigga me, I need to be rich, this shit real I feel you bro I'm telling y'all what's going on Yeah, I said my sister pretty as shit, yeah. but on the inside she sick See y'all want the fame for y'all selfishness, but nigga me, I need to be rich, this shit real I feel you Man, bro. I'm just telling y'all what's going on Yeah d Sean got nine, and Quante got five Just taking our lives, and nigga we just trying to survive this shit real I'm telling y'all what's going on Yeah, I said d Sean got nine, and Quante he got five And he just taking our lives, and nigga we just trying to survive this shit real Man I'm telling y'all what's going on Yeah I'm sick and tired of this bullshit, sick and tired of this bullshit I'm sick and tired, I'm so sick and tired, I'm so sick and tired of this bullshit It's real Man, I'm just telling y'all hey, yo, what's going on What the fucking matter, man? Yeah I'm sick and tired of this bullshit Black. Sick and tired of this bullshit Sick and tired, I'm so sick and tired, I'm so sick and hey, tired yo, I'm the first one to say real. all lives matter And I agree that all man, lives I'm matter Because it's just so happening to everybody, man But it seems yeah. to happen to us a little bit fucking more, man that's just what it is, man. We gotta fucking talk, man. I had a lot of battle rap shit I wanted to speak about. And a whole bunch of other shit that I need to talk about. So anybody tag me or anything today. Anybody that motherfucking inbox me, message me. I ain't had time. Just, you know, walking the dope. And I jumped on my pad and I started going through my feed. And the first thing I seen was R.I.P. Akil Dickens. His mother, Rolanda Ann, uh, post some shit about, you know, some shit we seen. That, you know what? Akil Dinkins was 
let me just show y'all something, man. This I, 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 I could just do this a lot easier, man. And, and cause some of y'all be saying we be tripping, man, when we get on this shit. When we when we when we get acting like this, not no right now. My attire, I got on chains and all of that shit. You know, so you might not take what I'm saying serious. You might want to stereotype and and, and the shit I say don't don't ain't as valid or hold as much validity or, or, or as weight to some of you motherfuckers. If I need to go in here and get a suit or something, I can. Cause what I gotta say, I need you to fucking hear me, okay? Let's go. And we ain't, we, we, let me pause that, man. And we gon' I'm going to show y'all this shit, man. Right here, right here. 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 Right he had to take that man from out here. He had to do that. He was fucking good. He was out here. I ain't even seen that officer in my life. And I'm out here. Can somebody give us an account on, on, on y'all side since we all we gonna get his side of the story or the police side of the story? Can somebody tell us what 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 if anybody saw what happened? Can somebody tell us our y'all's point of view of what happened to him? The account was the police hopped out on my nigga. They That's what said I want. He had a warrant. He took off. He was dusting the police off. Bro jumped over the fence. He fell. The police jumped over the fence. He fell. You feel me? The police felt bad. He couldn't catch, bro. He done chased bro numerous times in the past. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? They fuck with us, bro. This block right here, bro. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't like us, bro. So he already knew who he was. Yeah, and he, he, he knew, he knew he couldn't fucking, bro. he knew he couldn't catch, bro. So he shot and him just because he couldn't catch. He, he, he know he was. way to go by that shit. If he couldn't catch him today. Maybe he could have tried. Oh, come on. Let me hit that though. That man could have tased him. That man could have tased him. He could have tased him like sister saying, even though we don't even want that. But he could have tased the little homie. We'll take a hat come if it came like that. But he has to take his body. Now, I want y'all to see this. That dude, Akil Dinkins, which I did not know, was shot. They say murdered by police. Supposedly, they located a gun and all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But he was killed behind a building. He never fired a shot or anything. Now, this is what I come home to the fucking day. Two dozen evidence markers litter the front lawn at 1436 Old Watkins Road, the remnants of an early morning shootout between 21-year-old Colin Price and Wake County Sheriff's deputies. And as we came in the yard, uh, a gentleman came out and started firing shots. Master Deputy Stephen Brooks, a 16-year veteran, was injured when he was hit in the arm by flying debris from one of the bullets. Sheriff Donnie Harrison says three officers returned fire, but Price had already barricaded himself inside the house. He came out moments later with his hands up and surrendered. Well, everybody was lucky. Uh, we, we, everybody was lucky, let me put it that way. Officers were first called to the home Monday evening after learning a 20-year-old man so, had been shot man, there. They were serving a search warrant in that investigation so around 3 a.m. when they saved Price open fire. fire on the police the whenever they pulled up. He had a shootout with the police, and they just controlled the situation, took him to jail, but they couldn't do that with a kill well, date. recent F R.I.P. Akil Dinkins, man. God bless America, man. And that's why we're saying black lives matter. And you're right, all lives do matter. All lives absolutely do matter because it happens to the lower classes too at times. But this shit ain't right, man. You know, I'm glad that man is still alive and he he not dead in a box, but the shit ain't right, man. The shit ain't right, bro. A kill didn't even shoot the gun, man. If he fucking even had it, we don't know what happened behind that building. 
this shit is fucked up, man. This is the America we live in, and if it's not happening to you, you people say it's no racism. I had the police serve a fake ass warrant on my house, like I told y'all before, and I went to trial. Like, a fake ass warrant. Y'all remember that movie Train Day? How he was shaking the fucking menu and it won't even a warrant? That's basically what the fucking happened to me. Yes, in Wake County, dog. In fucking Apex. Yes, motherfucking Brandon Pope ass did the officer brandon polk that's exactly what the fuck he did he acted as if he was serving a warrant on my next door neighbor which had been moved months ago and then you just act, you come to my house which don't even say that door man we do we deal with so much shit man this shit is fucked up man like that is just wrong like so i don't see how you could say that's not wrong how you could be mad at me or somebody that's just speaking about it that's just fucking wrong like how the fuck does he fire shots, shoot, hit an officer in the arm? Like, what the fuck, man? And y'all don't, he ain't even. I don't know how much time left on this video. So, and then, you know, so I, and y'all just try I'm about to eat, man. All we get is a bunch of videos about this shit anyway. YouTube videos of them killing us and doing fuck shit to us. and They, they give us the evidence and they show us. That's their way, if you ask me, of letting them know without blatantly saying, yeah, y'all niggas is under us. We gonna kill you like animals and shit when you get out of line. That man fired a shot. And yeah, everything understood don't gotta be said. What, what message are you fucking sending to us? What the fuck should we fucking be doing? It's fucking crazy, man. And no, it's not every fucking person that's not black. We're not. I'm not. Because like like I said, like, I, man, I, I love my, it's my, my baby mix. Like I, a lot of people close to me are Caucasian. Like, you know what I mean? So it has nothing to do with that. That's not the point. It's just uh, some people that are in positions of power are doing some fucked up shit. And a lot of shit is just, just is fucked up. And like when I was talking to an officer, you know, he said it's only one or two officers that's on the street that's black in Apex, North Carolina. Some of that shit got to change. Unfortunately, man, there need to be some more black people that's police officers too. And I hate to say unfortunately because it's like I'm telling people to be a, you know, to be a cop. You know what I mean? But that's that's true. Like we gotta, if it's all, you know, a certain type of race in one thing, of course it's gonna be favoritism and shit. If it ain't have fifty fifty black people in there, you know what I mean? Whatever, uh, you know, stuff ain't mixed up. You know what I mean? Like he said, they got like one. Uh, I think one. He might have said two African Americans on the streets, man. Out of the whole fucking force, bro. That's just fucking crazy. And it's partly because of the shit that we've had to deal with through the, inju the justice system or the injustice system. And we grow a, a, people grow a hatred for them and for that. And you naturally tell your kids that the police are bad. So, of course, a kid ain't going to want to grow up and be a cop. And not all police are bad. That's not what I'm saying neither. But this shit got a motherfucking stop, man. Caroline Tower 100, man. I wouldn't be 100 if I ain't fucking talking about this shit. I don't know how much more time I got. So, I ain't going to keep rolling this motherfucker, man. Look, love is love, man. I got part two going to be on the motherfucking way. Like, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. Follow me at I am Caroline Ty number one on Twitter. Caroline Ty one. Now, the first time I seen you live, I went and watched one of your battles. And I remember it like it was yesterday. Watching that footage on Smooth TV when a room full of Cohen MCs let him say, this rap clone ain't got no backbone like Freddie Gray. Fire. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> awesome, right? That's awesome, right? That's just like you said. Oh, he's gonna die from these bars tonight that'll take his breath away like the end of Eric Gardner's life. And this shit just got incredibly real since you want to be caustic, like, nigga. This guy is a lame. I can hear it in your voice, that racial undertone in your vein. Disrespecting Eric Gardner and Freddie Gray. Two black fucking disgrace. You're no better than Fox News, Donald Trump, or any other white person these days trying to make light on the black culture and race for your own personal gain. Oh, oh. Talk that luck shit. You're like a brand new taser to battling spark. Straight out of the box. Not enough amp in the color soul. Your only value is shock. I wish you would try that shit in my state, bitch. It's cloud down to the dock or we don't want no chase but getting icy with a bartender get them served on the rocks but that shit pisses me off mm -hmm. and you wouldn't know why cause you're white 
See, I've been in that same situation. Racist uh, kids trying to trick me into starting a fight so they can let off a shot in the night and get off because of fear of an officer's life, nigga. Any one of them could have been me. My mother, sister, brother, or father, and I would have to stand there and watch their killer get painted on television in a positive light. Uh, do you know what that's like? Mm. Bitch, do you fucking know what that's like? Nah. No, then don't ever disrespect the culture that made it possible for these bullshit bars that you write. Because what's up? Oh. A- Don't you ever disrespect the culture that yeah. made it possible for these Shout bullshit bars to, uh, that you write because what's a routine traffic stop for you is a fucking and, fight for uh, my life. Don't mm-hmm. flop Sucker. and check a friend. Yeah, I bet you've been saying nigga for all you know. of your life. <laughs> I mean, you're already saying racist lines, admit it. And when your black friends say it around you, I bet it would excite you, didn't it? Admit it. Nigga written all over you like them six high school bitches. In a world when we don't let that racist shit slide, when this shit hit you like a typhoon, didn't it? Why is you playing? Anybody that steps up is gonna die with his stands. Anybody that jumps in is gonna die with his man. It's a generation of sheep. I'm gonna decide. So. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got a lot of shit I gotta say, man. Love is love. Follow me everywhere. Carolina Tower.